This year we've focused on a special project which we call the Rainbow of Life. It's honouring dancers, choreographers and dance teachers in our industry who have been affected by cancer. The tribute performance is being choreographed by Sam Malseed, who as you know is one of the top winners in Say Thinking Dance. Yeah, I'm really excited to be asked to choreograph and be a part of Rainbow of Life this year. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of pressure for me doing this. I don't know a lot of the kids. Um, it's the first time I've choreographed for these kids and it's the first time I'll be choreographing at the Battle of the Stars. So. All first for me, <laughs> there's a lot more pressure. But this year we've been fortunate enough to be able to sponsor $5,000 to five cancer charities. One of the nominees for our Rainbow of Life is actually one of our judges and she's been part of our Showcase team for many years now. Hi, I'm Karina Lawrence and I'm one of the judges here at Showcase. Um, well, unfortunately I was diagnosed in 2012 with breast cancer and Peter and I have been friends for a very long time, obviously working together as well. And he approached me to say that he had an idea um, and was setting up the Rainbow of Life, um, I guess, as a dedication for what I was going through and our friendship. My nan recently um, has suffered from cancer, um, and, but she did overcome it, and um, we're really happy with that. Um, um, it was a stressful time for her, but um, she got through it, and we're really happy. Um, every, well, I actually mentioned to her before we left for Queensland. Um, I said that I'll be dancing for you um, and this will be a special tribute to you. Um, so today's Battle of the Stars. We're just about to let the kids in for rehearsal. They're all excited outside. There's so much excitement, anticipation about what's expected from them and what they're out to achieve today. I'm nervous. It's like, you know, dance school concert day and we're just all on a big time frame though. We're on the time zero to get everything going and everything's happening. This is our final rehearsal for the Battle of the Stars routine this afternoon for the opening. And what, how many people? We're just mad. It's crazy. About 250. <laughs> It's amazing, the energy in here is amazing. It's super early, but everyone's really giving me their all, so it's great. A bit sweaty palm the time, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, but um, I have a great cast of dancers and I have wonderful people around helping me. Team Showcases is really supportive, so we're, doing, we're getting it done. My biggest challenges today have been the time, the time constraints. I've only had an hour and a quarter to work with every single group. So to have this many people in the audience watching a number it, to, with such little time is, is a real challenge. This is everybody. Everybody. So what's going to happen now? This We're now learning, teaching every dancer here. So nearly all 250 of them, the last minute of the routine. At the last minute. How many on stage at once? 250. Quick guys! And I have to go to probably Quick. about half an hour to do it, so... Yeah, have much time. Go team showcase. <laughs> One, two, three, four, half, five, six, seven... Can you describe what, how much room there is on the stage? Very much. Um, it's really, 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 small and big guys. Sort of confusing because we can't see. And then what will happen is, stay there. Amazing, we're all ready to rock. Yeah. Showtime's approaching, so I can't ask for any more from the kids. They've done a great job. I've always got that element of nervousness with so many kids to work with in so little time, but like I said, we're such a great group. Everyone's worked really hard, everyone's focused, and I'm pretty excited to see it. Alright, we're going to run it again in a second. We're just about to reveal the singer. These kids don't know who's singing, so we're actually going to go backstage and get the singer. I want to see the reactions on their faces. They've worked so hard, and this is something special for them. Alright, dancers, are we ready? I would like to introduce you to Annie Nissen. The winner of The Voice. And former showcase contestant. I think you should stand there. 
Can you just stand there? That's weird, but it's maybe hard because the fact that the backing part is not. Did you play that one? Not for them. Okay, because I just want to check those. I just because ripped I think off Anastasia's one for them to practice with. I just yeah. want to say. Because, yeah, because there's. Because I thought in one of my backings it has a love keeps lifting me higher. But then it seems that one didn't have that. Same stuff until we get to the. When we get to this line, should we get to the line split? part. All split. And just walk yeah, back you out. Your <laughs> then. So, um, <laughs> the rehearsal music that we're given is totally different to one we just got, so we're just gonna have to make it work because we don't have enough time to change anything. Feeling really stressed and worried about it, but. Oh well. <laughs> The national final, Dead to the Finalist! out of our own ball of life. It is not ready the stage at all. We've just run through the music that we've got now, the new music, once, backstage, and we didn't even have everybody with us, so I guess we're just gonna have to wing it. When I perform this, I'll be thinking about my nan, but also to the people that this dance is dedicated to, um, to the families and dance teachers, choreographers, and families who have been affected by cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be standing here today honouring such courageous people from our dance community that have been unfortunately battling cancer. Yeah. yeah. 